Hey everybody, good morning, it's Rob Moffitt. I'm reading Blue Rockwell this morning. It's a, uh, it's a libertarian site. I'm not a libertarian, but I like reading different viewpoints of people and uh, getting more information for me to make up my own mind. And this week they had a wonderful article on Lou Rockwell. I'm going to leave the link to everything I subscribe or talk about in the video, my video description. Uh, on Lou Rockwell this morning, he talked about a cancer cure. Now I'm old. I'm I'm, I'm retired this year. I'm old enough. Uh, I I think all my adult life, every couple of years, somebody somewhere has a cancer cure, and it didn't turn out. And I hate to give anybody false hope. But if you have terminal cancer, there isn't any such thing as false hope. Um, this person is Mr. Tippins. He was diagnosed with a uh, with a very bad type of cancer, small lung cell cancer in 2016. And he was talking to his doctor and they put him on a, a trial of something that could extend his life by, you know, nine months or something. And he said, well, what has he got to lose? Well, while he was doing that, a friend of his that was a veterinarian said he should look into taking a, uh, a dog medicine to get rid of worms. We'll go over that in just a second. And uh, he looked into it some more and he thought there was something to it and he took it. Long story short, after three months he went back to the doctor and the cancer wasn't showing up in any parts of his body. Three months later, same thing, nine months later, a year later, he was cancer free still. And he started telling other people about what happened and, and some other people have been trying it. Now a few people it didn't work. They they died, but there were some quite a few other people that not only they got better, they were able to like him not have any cancer show up. It, it's not a panacea, it's not a cure for everybody, uh, but the more I investigated this, the more interest it became. Um, he said one of the things that was key is he took with the, the, uh, the uh, it's called fenbendazole. It's a, a drug used to get rid of worms in dogs. It's been around for years. And he took it with uh, a vitamin E, uh, turmeric, and some CBD oil. I'm going to leave a link also to his website where he goes into detail the different uh, dietary supplement he took with the the uh, fenbendazole. The fenbendazole was costing like five dollars a week uh, in treatment so it's very inexpensive and he's been having more and more people tell him that they have tried his remedy and they've had excellent success. But like I said, he said three or four people he know that also did the same thing. It didn't work for them. But he said in their cases, they died within three weeks. So maybe they were just too far gone. But I want to have a word of caution. This is one man's story. And, but there, he's not really getting rich off of this. He's not got a, a lab somewhere or a clinic or you go to Mexico and have somebody treat you in a spa somewhere. He's just saying you can spend five bucks a week on some fenbendazole fen 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 and uh, some supplements and you may get something that will help your cancer. And what gets interesting to me is how earlier scientists had found that there was some plausibility to the story. The story goes that some lab tests were being done on some some mice and these mice were be give, given uh, cancer tumors or cells so they would grow cancer for the studies. And these particular ones uh, had been given the fenbendazole to get rid of any uh, parasites and their food had normally was radiated or, or sterilized and then it was had vitamins and minerals added to it. Well, these particular animals, their their food hadn't been sterilized or burst. So when they added the extra vitamins, they had uh, even more nutrients in the food than before. And these animals normally, uh, 80 to 100 percent of the time, the implanted tumors would grow, but none of the tumors grew in the 40 animals over a 30-day period that were uh, had been 
given the, the fenbendazole. So there is some uh, interesting clues in the history of this subject. Also, India did a study where it says that the cancer cells at very low concentrations of fenbendazole um, had the ability to stop the tumor cells from uptaking sugar, which was used as energy for the tumors to grow. So that kind of gives you the idea of how it's attacking the cancer and why it may be uh, possible to go after many types of cancer. So this is a fascinating story to me. I thought more people should know about this. It's uh, He's got a website that I'm going to leave. Also, here's a, a video uh, where they interview him. Um, we won't play it right now, um, but I'll leave a link to that too. So you can get an idea of what you think. I, I would just go online and start doing a search about the drug and the different research that's been done on it and see where you could find out more about it and talk with your, your doctor and, and see what they think. Uh, I'm not giving any medical advice. I'm just saying what I would do as, uh, as a person who, if, if they had cancer, that's what I think I would do. I, I would definitely look into this a lot more. And it's just something that was so hopeful and it's a wonderful possibility where in many times there isn't any hope. Um, so I hope this is something that can be helpful to a few people out there. It's something that allegedly may have helped other people, but you until you do the studies you don't know if the other people just got better because they were also taking other drugs that may have helped. Um, you, you don't, if you don't have enough uh, research, it's real easy to, to grasp at straws and try to find something that, that would cure something so terrible. But, and you don't have all the facts. But while it's evident we do not have all of the facts, we do have a, a possible clue and it's worth looking into. Um, hope this is something to help somebody out there. I hope all of you um, are, are blessed and get the help and hope that you need. Take care and see you out there.